uh, today we are going to discuss in detail about the uh, housing systems of dairy animals and this is the unit number 4 which is the last one and this is the paper number 1 section first ok. So, let us see in detail about the housing system of animals. Why the uh, house is generally provided to dairy animals? Just we have to understand the uh, importance of the housing system. Okay. Uh, Uh, there are two different types of housing system. Number one is the loose housing system, second one is the conventional housing system. But uh, when we have to define the loose housing system, it may be defined in this way. The loose housing system may be defined as a system where the animals are kept loose except milking and at the time of the treatment. It means that. Uh, in this system animals are kept loose except milking and except at the time of the treatment ok. So, this is the diagram of the loose housing system where uh, this is the fence area ok. So, this is the fence and within this fence the various uh, various construct uh, houses are constructed. Uh, various constructions are provided it means that this is the manger, manger is the place where the feed is uh, given to these animals ok. Feed is provided into this manger and as animals are kept loose, uh, kept loose they move here and there ok. Whenever they feel hungry they go to this site and uh, enjoy the feed material whatever provided here in this place ok. And when they are thirsty, so this is the water tank which is provided uh, within this uh, fence area. It means that uh, they also uh, enjoy the water here and this is the uh, small house which is constructed here and this is constructed for the extreme environmental conditions when uh, it is the raining outside when uh, sun uh, sun shine sun is shining and when the temperature uh, uh, decreases at the times general animals comes to this place which is uh, which is the house uh, house is provided here ok. So, this is the fence area and uh, within this area animals kept loose and therefore, this is called as the loose housing system. Uh, we have to see the advantages and disadvantages of this method ok. The advantages of this method is that this system is most economical. Why it is most econ uh, economical? Because uh, we are rearing the more animals, more number of animals. In that case, we have to construct the house. But in this case, as this is, as in this case, we are, uh, we are keeping animal loose. In that case, there is no requirement to construct the uh, more number of houses. Okay. So, that uh, therefore, this is the most economical, the cost of construction is lower than the con conventional housing system. In the conventional housing system, it means that in head to head system or tail to tail system, we have to construct the house, but here in this type, uh, there is no requirement to construct the house, easy and less expensive to make further expansion. As when uh, uh, we are increasing more number of animals in the uh, in this system just we have to break or just we have to remove this compound and this compound uh, uh, this compound is expand to this side ok this side. It means that number of uh, if the number of animals increase just we have to uh, remove this compound and just we have to uh, the make the uh, boundaries of this compound to this side ok. So, in this way uh, we it becomes very easy to expand the uh, without 
breaking the more constructions okay then uh, easy and less uh, uh, it facilitates easy detection of heat uh, heat detection in animals if uh, any animal is in heat it becomes very easy to uh, to detect the heat uh, of that animal in this case and uh, also it becomes very easy to detect uh, if any animal is suffering from any kind of the disease okay uh, then uh, animals feel free again this is uh, one more important uh, uh, advantage of this method is that uh, the animals feel free and which helps uh, to enhance the health of animals and which also enhance to uh, production okay so these are the advantage of this method uh, this advantage are the as the animals are free as uh, i told you earlier uh, in this system animals get free so if any uh, uh, any animal is suffering from the any contagious uh, disease in that case these infected animals may infect to the rest of the animals so this is the disadvantage of this method because all animals are free or uh, kept free therefore the contagious disease is spread very easily then uh, second disadvantage of this method is that uh, the animals may fight each other uh, the uh, as we are not tiding the animals so they may fight each other this is the second disadvantage of this method animals in heat may dash the fences if uh, any uh, any animal is in heat heat that animals may hit the fence it try to break the fence uh, and when he try uh, that animal try to break the fence they may get injury so these are the few disadvantages of this method whereas uh, the second method is the conventional housing system conventional housing system uh, means this system is again divided into different uh, system that is the tail to tail housing system and second one is the uh, face to face or head to head housing system let's see about the tail to tail housing system it means that the animals are arranged in tail to tail manner it means that the, uh, the tail is in center gutter is in center okay and this is the uh, uh, construction uh, construction that is uh, called as the manger where the feed is supplied so the arranging animal in tail to tail type is called as the tail to tail housing system and animal uh, arranging animals in head uh, head to head uh, type that is called as the head to head housing system okay so uh, this is about the tail to tail and head to head housing system let's see about the advantages and this uh, advantages of tail to tail housing system under the average condition 125 to 150 man hours labors are required per cow okay so if we are arranging animals in tail to tail type of housing system uh, so our uh, work times get reduced okay in cleaning and milking the cow the wide middle alley is of great advantage it means that uh, as uh, we have seen these animals are arranged in tail to tail type manner it means that it becomes very easy to milk these uh, uh, two animals at the same times okay this is the middle array which is uh, uh, the place for the movement of uh, human being for the uh, moment of the human being so when uh, when we are carrying the milking machine or when we have to milk these animals so we may milk at the same time both the animals so this is again uh, also uh, it is very easy to clean the animals clean the shed okay a uh, second a uh, third point is the lesser danger of spread of disease from animal to animal as uh, their heads are in opposite directions so the animal is suffering from any kind of disease so in this case very uh, lesser danger of spread of diseases the chances of spread of disease is uh, are the very less the cows can always get more fresh air from the outside as the heads are outside so this uh, cow gets a fresh air from the outside uh, the head 
the head goda can inspect a greater number of milkmen while the milking it means that the whoever is the owner of this dairy farm he may or she may observe very easily uh, uh, who is milking or who is not milking so it becomes very easy to kept watch on these uh, the working men okay so these are the uh, advantages of this uh, method let's see advantages of face to face housing system this is the face to face housing system face to face it means that uh, their their tails are in opposite directions and face are in the center and this type of housing system is called as the uh, head to head housing system or face to face housing system the number one advantage is that the cow cow make a better showing for the visitors when heads are together when heads are together so it shows the uh, better side for the visitors the cows feel easier to get into their stalls and again it uh, uh, the cows feels very easy to get into their stalls it means that whatever the uh, site is provided for the cows uh, they feel easier to reach to this site sun rays shine in gutter as the gutter is in uh, opposite direction it means that the sun rays reach uh, to this gutter this is the gutter okay sun rays uh, uh, reach to this gutter and as the sun rays reach to this gutter this side becomes dry okay and it prevents the uh, formation of the microbial growth okay the feeding cows is easier as uh, the heads are in center this is the common uh, common manger or the separate manger is provided for the both the rows and it becomes very easy to provide the feed at the same time for the uh, both the rows and it is better for the narrow barns it means that if we uh, uh, we have very uh, we uh, we have insufficient land in that case uh, this is better to the construct so these are the advantages of this method so in this way uh, we have completed the housing system of dairy animals so thank you very much